No, I, I, my mother didn't tell us. I don't remember stories that she told. But I remember my grandmother, <clears throat> and she was a <clears throat> she was quite a woman because she her husband died, uh, leaving her with well there was George, Harry, and Neil, Emily, and Mary. There were five children. <clears throat> my mother had four uh, siblings, and her mother raised all of these kids by going to the uh, cleaning office buildings, offices in the buildings at night. I imagine she left the kids and, you know, with somebody to watch or something mm -hmm. until she got home. Um. You know, just historically, what do you imagine it was like for Emily as a young girl growing up in South Boston? Oh, I, I wouldn't know. Uh, she, she grew up the same as the rest of us. Uh, there was no, no electricity, you know, it was gas lights. <clears throat> uh, there were streetcars, hoss, uh, <clears throat> very few, <clears throat> in her day, there were very few automobiles. So that all the produce, you know, the, the farmers would come out with, with the horse-drawn produce up and down the street selling stuff like that. Everything was horse and buggy. Very few cars. Even when I was the, you know, yeah, sure. going yeah. up there, there was, <clears throat> there was some, but not, not very much. Uh, what was the name of Emily's mother and father? Oh, my, well, my grandmother's name was Amelia. A? A, Amelia. Yeah. Amelia. I don't know what my grandfather's name was. Uh, you can put anything in there, nobody's going to question it. <clears throat> But it would be Amelia Purcell. Hmm? Amelia Purcell. He was he was a Purcell. Yeah, because that was <clears throat> my grandmother's name was uh, Emily uh, Amelia, I think Purcell. <clears throat> and you had for uncles George, Harry, Neil, and Marion. Yes, George, Neil. And Harry, three of them, and uh, one, uh, Marion, uh, aunt, an aunt Marion. Um, did Amelia Purcell have any brothers and sisters with her in? You mean United my grandmother? Country? Yes. Oh no. Okay. No, she. Uh, evidently came from, she came from Newfoundland. <clears throat> they were married in Newfoundland and they came there. And then my grandfather died. No, Nobody ever saw him, you know, that I know of. So but, she came from Scotland to Newfoundland to... Oh no, Boston? she came from Newfoundland. Okay. But I mean her uh, people, Okay. the Hayes, were, came from uh, Northeastern uh, section of Scotland. Okay. In the mountains, I've, I saw in the mountains where were the names of the uh, various people, uh -huh. and the Hayes were up in the northeastern part of Scotland. Okay. <clears throat> Did you ever do anything with? Your mother's side of the family, like with your uncles, do you remember they're coming over oh, for dinner? Oh yes, yeah. The, well, they, no, they didn't come for dinner so much, but uh, we, they were all living in South Boston. Harry, George, well, no, I'm sorry. Harry and Neil lived in South Boston. George, <coughs> 
left South Boston and uh, moved to Connecticut. When, I don't know. But he lived in Danbury, Connecticut, George. Which is something that would be related later in the story because uh, I ran away from home which I was always doing. And I was, I was going somewhere, and I was probably 15, but I could drive. My brother taught me to drive. I was wandering around. I ran away from home. <clears throat> I was ran, uh, wandering around. <laughs> Not a nice thing to say, tell them people. <clears throat> but I was walking down this hill. It was winter time, it wasn't not snow, but it was cold. And I had just a pair of sneakers on with holes in them. <clears throat> cold as a son of a bitch. <clears throat> I saw this car <laughs> on a hill. I looked in, the keys were there. So I stepped in, <coughs> didn't turn the key on, released the brake and <coughs> down the hill with an on the bottom, turned on, and took up. I, I drove all the way. I crossed uh, states. It was Italy. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that was a federal offense. <laughs> I crossed the state line, went to Connecticut, <clears throat> parked the fucking car, outside of the police station <laughs> and then walked, found out where my uncle lived and then walked to where he lived. <laughs> <laughs> so the guy never saw his car again probably, uh, right? Well, no, the, 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 uh, the police would have. Cops probably yeah. saw the car there, you know, for days, and one little was outside the station. Yeah. So they, they could tell by the license plate who owned it. So he got his car back. Wow. <laughs> no big deal. So <clears throat> from uh, South Boston to Connecticut, maybe 50 miles drive, oh, or? I would say it was, uh, over 50 miles, maybe 75 miles, I don't know. <clears throat> when, your, when her whole family was over, or you were doing, I mean, when you went to your Uncle George's house, you know, did he say, what the hell are you doing? What are, what are you doing here? And no, I just told him that I, uh, I didn't tell him I stole the car. I just told him that I hitchhiked. Yeah, <clears throat> and uh, of course I was always kind of running away from home. I I would hop on a truck, you know, to it was going in town. I had no money for car fare, so I'd jump on the fucking truck. A number of times, I looked to see where the truck was going on the packages. Hey, I've never been there. I stay on the fucking truck until we got into Connecticut or New Hampshire or wherever the hell I was going. <coughs> and, and then just make your way back? Back, yeah. W w would it be conceivable that you were gone for a day or two? Oh, shit, yes. <laughs> what was the response when you got back on? Huh? What did your... Oh, they were very glad. My mother was very glad to see me. <laughs> She didn't, you know, she didn't uh, hit me or anything like that. Just, oh, 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 kind of a teary welcome and so forth. Do you think that was a common thing to do huh? for boys to do at your age? Was there <clears throat> other boys doing it? I don't know of any kids that were doing it, just me. But see, I didn't. The other kids didn't have their mother. <clears throat> yeah. You know, I used to get awful pissed off with my mother the way she treated. You know. Do you think um, 
it had maybe because your father was working the railroad, he wasn't around as often. That well, yeah, <coughs> yeah, because my mother raised us. <coughs> my father was only, you know, in me. It wasn't his fault, but he was very seldom home. He was on a railroad. He, he worked on the railroad, and so consequently, he had to go from Boston to Chicago, which would take a good day, I guess. <clears throat> We'd stay over there overnight, and then he'd be gone for like two or three days. And my mother was the one that was left to raise us. And she wasn't the one to raise kids, not the lineup. <clears throat> Do you keep in touch with any of your cousins on your mother's side? Huh? Do you keep in touch with any of do, your cousins? Do I now? Yeah. yeah. No. In fact, I, <laughs> I don't keep track of anybody. Just lost track and... Yeah. Uh, I knew that Kenneth Trent was my uh, nephew. My sister had, I think it was three boys. Howard, uh, Kenneth, and another one that I can't remember. <clears throat> she had three boys. And uh, <clears throat> I lost track of them. They, they came, uh, one of them came here to see me. Uh, but I'm digressing, but they were all users, you know. <clears throat> I never did care for my nephews because they were all users. Uh, they would, my sister Marion would, <clears throat> no, not Marion, Wilma, would give them money all the time. She was buying their love, you know. Uh, Wilma never had any children. <clears throat> she had been sick with tuberculosis for years. <clears throat> In fact, she probably died of it. She was in the sanitarium for, God, how, more than half of her life. <clears throat> She was in territories. So, Amelia Purcell, mm -hmm. Amelia Purcell was born in Newfoundland, and her family came from. I would think so. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> As you know, she married in in there. She was born and raised in Newfoundland. Okay. <clears throat> oh, she was the hay. She married a Purcell. Oh, okay. Um, was it important to her? Hmm? Was it important to her, the Hay clan? Oh, I think she was very, very proud of the Hay clan. Because <clears throat> actually, the Hay clan is very, I think, uh, very uh, big in in Scotland, <clears throat> and my grandmother <clears throat> walked to church. She went to church every day. And of course, she's dressed up in black. She always wore black, high lace boots. You know, dress all the way down to the street level, and. But she walked like she owned South Boston. She had a very straight body, you know, and she walked, paid no attention to anybody. She just went about her own business. <clears throat> but I loved her. She was a fantastic woman. She's the one that 
gave me the love of opera and stuff like that. I mean, for a woman that was uh, left by herself, her husband died when her children were babies. You know, she was uh, like self-taught and every all that, you know, so mm -hmm. forth. But she had records of all the operas, and she's the one that uh, got me into liking opera music and so forth. <clears throat> um. In fact, she was the one that got me into into opera, and one of my aunts was the one that got me to uh, reading. Uh, my Aunt Lillian, all, every Christmas, every birthday, she gave me a book. And my mother never read anything but the advertiser. It was a rag, Boston. And we had the Boston Globe, the Boston Herald. Two of them were fantastic uh, papers. They still are. Well, I don't know about the Herald, whether it's still in Boston, but the Boston Globe is still going. <laughs> and she never read either one of them. She read the Advertiser, which is like the Inquirer or some, uh, you know, some rag. Mm -hmm. It wasn't worth a shit. <laughs> but that's what she used to read. Had all the dirt and all the uh, garbage that was going on in Southie and yeah. so forth. Who, who was Aunt Lillian? Oh, one of my aunts. Uh, uh, my mother had an Aunt Lillian and an Aunt Marion. I mean, she had two sisters. Okay. Lillian and Marion. So there's George, Harry, Neil, Emily, Marion, and Lillian. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Oh, uh, Marion Lillian and uh, oh, oh Marion and Lillian and Emily, three girls, and Harry, uh, George, George and Neil. Yeah. So there were six. Wow. Okay. Um, her job as cleaning for uh, her job in cleaning all the office buildings. Yeah. Uh, was that primarily? The work she did? Oh yes, that's how she made her living and, and raised her kids because the husband died, left her with almost babies. Yeah. You know, ch small children. Yeah. And she had to raise those boys, you know, as they told us that you didn't mess with their mother. I mean, she'd beat the shit out of them if they <clears throat> did anything wrong. She was a very stern mother. And that's where my mother got hers. But see, her... Uh, <clears throat>